Hello all, and welcome to episode 13 of the Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke Pokemon Blue version brought to you by me, Mr. Houndoomer. Last episode was rather productive, made it through uh, the rocket hideout in the game corner and beat Erica for a fourth gym badge. In today's episode, hoping, hoping, hoping to continue the trend and go uh, beat the Pokemon Tower in Lavender and possibly get a fifth gym badge. Not sure if that's going to be Sabrina or Koga, but we'll decide as we go. With that being said, let's get this party started. done the fresh water thing. Do I have to have any fresh water? Um, let's see. TM16, TM21, and a lift key that I don't need. So let's go ahead and heal. Just in case I need it. So how are you all this wonderful morning? I'm a little bit tired and not ready to go back into work tomorrow. It was my weekend off and I'm not excited about going back in. Especially because what they have in store for us is the most unpleasant thing you can do at my job. And my shift is getting it for the fourth time in a row, apparently. Which is not okay. But... Oh, and I'm gonna be by myself in my area. So that makes it even more exciting. <laughs> but not to complain, so... How's everybody else's day going? Just gotta enjoy the day off that I have now. fresh waters. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. Kind of hoping that it's going to rain a little bit today. That would be nice. Did I give you the stuff? Oh, I think I gave her two out of three. Oh, no, I did give her all of them. Oh, well, I got some healing items in. Those lemonades for the price are actually pretty good. Considering super potions heal you for, I think, 50. And they're like 700. And pretty sure, unless it's different in Gen 1, which it may be, that uh, lemonade heals you by 80. And it's only it's half the price. The only downside is that it takes a lot longer in order for you to get them. Oh, and I already gave it to him. I wonder why it wouldn't let me fly here. Maybe I haven't been to the Pokemon Center? I'll go ahead and go here just to make sure. That way I can fly back if I need to. I don't know that my team's ready for the fighting dojo either. I know theirs are mid-30. Oh yeah, okay, no. Okay, well did I go to Mr. Psychic's house? I'm guessing probably, actually. I already did all the rest of this. Wait, what? Oh, I was full on items. Okay, well, I gotta come back here anyway, so. Let's go ahead and head to the Pokemon Tower. Get that out of the way. And see if we can't get us a fifth 
gym badge today. Oh, crud. That guy kind of looks like Giovanni. He did. Apparently he didn't like that, so he turned away. I thought I already battled the rival. I battled you, Bob. Oh, jeez. He's got a ride on. Uh, against my... Moltres is not a good combo. Okay, it's been a little bit since I've played this, so I have to figure out what, who has what again. Okay, that wouldn't be bad. Okay, you can definitely do it. There we go. That'll work. I do hate to say it, but I'm probably going to be replacing Dentax soon. The Pidgeot. Because I've got two legendary birds, so I don't really need a third bird. Third bird. Third, third, third bird. But I don't know if I have anything yet to replace it with. Do I? Kurobra! Go back to anger. Do not remember what all you have. Who has peck? That should work. Ah, so close. Oh, and the cadaver has recover. Come on now. An omanite. Okay. The thing about these randomizers is you never know what they have unless you battled them before, and it's been a while since I played this, so I do not remember what anything has. A little attitude from omanite. Hey, hey, hey. No waking up. I froze it! Oh, he's done. I guess that makes sense that it's not very effective because it is weak against rock. Did that say Cleef Fable? It did, he did evolve it. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to Oh, jeez, it's got flamethrower. That is gonna do some damage. That was a crit. Hmm, okay. No, don't miss that. No, it's got absorb! Oh, wow, that did nothing. Okay. It's doing better with flamethrower. <gasps> we got another phrase. Holy crud. Wait, why is everyone else at 29 and 30? And Nessie's only at 28. Well, you get up front then. Maybe I should go look and see what's in the PC. might do that, because this would be a good place to train to raise him up. So I don't know how productive this episode is going to be, but I'm going to try. It might be one of those episodes where I'm just trying to get things set up for another one. I do new. kind of don't plan these things out super well. Wait a minute. What, what are those TMs that I have with me? Rock throw. Okay. It's not a bad one. Water gun. 
Ooh, Nessie can learn water gun. Um, nope, don't have anything that I want to get rid of for that. So we're gonna go ahead and deposit those for now. Well, I guess I could keep them out since I'm gonna be switching out. Dentex. Probably. I mean, that right there is a pretty good candidate. Holy crud. It's also another good one. And it'll evolve. That would be a good choice. Holy crud. Nice moves. Man, and all these will evolve. This might be an evolving episode. Yeah, we'll we'll get those out and see what they turn into. another one. This may be the evolving episode. It really might be. And this will help me to make my decision for next, because I got enough money. To get several stones. But I have to make sure to keep Rod with me. It's not you guys. Not this one. It's right here. If I remember right. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna buy two fire stones. Wait a minute. Do I have them in the PC? I hate to keep going back and forth. But I also hate to waste money. Well, I already got the fire stones, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. Break this up a little bit. Alright, now looking, let's see what we got. Please be something cool. Doduo. I mean, it could be worse, I guess. Alright, I hope this one turns into something good. That way I can add it to the team and have Copper on the team. Come on. Ooh, that sounds like good. <gasps> it's another Zapdos! We have an extra Zapdos. Copper is now Zapdos. With Thunder Punch! Very nice, actually. While that is tempting to use, I would have to level him up to catch up with the rest of the team, and I already have a Zapdos, so probably not going to use that. You know, I just realized I'm making an awful lot of editing for myself. That makes me really not be looking forward to this. But hey, it's it's for an interesting episode. Uh, yep, I did have a Firestone. And a Thunderstone. Okay, that's it. Let's see what else we got. We got 
hogs. The diglet. Kaliki. The Q-bone. Gary Doss. Well, that's going to be a Gary Doss. Oh, the Chansey. I was going to trade that. But to who? Gas would be wheezing. sounds really familiar. Who else has that cry? I feel like it's some kind of bird. And I know they reused a couple of uh, different cries in the original game. Just fine to go ahead and buy the least stone. Alright, see what we get on this one. Boy, wouldn't that be funny if it turned into the other thing that has the same cries, Chansey? Close. Ooh, an Ivysaur! That is making this the, 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 the decision difficult. Making it very, very difficult. Okay, let's see. Rod, I believe the one that I was going to trade with was around this area. Yeah, looks like this might be a setup episode. I apologize if that's not something you want to see or are interested in. But sometimes they're necessary. Sometimes you gotta figure some stuff out and do some things in order to... Oh! I'll trade you this Chansey that's beat up asleep and has a terrible name for an Aerodactyl. Yeah. Come to me, Aerodactyl. It's the first. This is, uh, Randomizer history. This is the very first time I've actually traded something in one of these. In all the ones that I've played. Okay, and the nicknames are randomized. It's Baxter. That's it right there. That's the cry. It's got the same one as... Wait. Is it it? Supersonic and Thunder Punch. I think that was Chansey's cry, wasn't it? Okay, I'll make them my decision here. In probably a minute. Boy, they need really need to go to the PC and heal up that Jancy. Alright, my Baxter, you're going in there. Water and ice, flying and fire, flying and electric, electric, poison, but it'll evolve, poison and grass, it'll evolve too, but it's got a really good move set. 
Doesn't it? Double edge, fire spin, hyper beam, and pedal dance. Yeah, that's that's pretty stack moose set. Keys, what is keys? Oh right. Diglett goes to 26 in order to evolve. Um, hmm. Alright, Melvin, let's get you up to the front and start leveling you up to see what you turn into. If it doesn't turn into anything good or something that I need, then I'm probably just going to go ahead and go with Muck. Or I could add Gas back to the team. <clears throat> He's already established and everything, and uh, at level 26. Evolutions have been very kind to me in this game. For the most part. Not super excited about the Doduo one, but it could be worse. Take this item. A Pokeball. Wait, so since I didn't have the Silscope, I haven't got my encounter in here. And she starts off with a Caterpie. Caterpie that could actually wipe out my eggs. Well, glad you got confused, but yeah, I'm switching out. Not a chance this is happening. Darn you. That is actually a great move for a Caterpie. I wouldn't mind something to get rid of Mega Punch. I don't like how inaccurate it is. So I might, instead of battling Sabrina or the Fighting Dojo, go for uh, towards Koga. Get through the Safari Zone and get Strength. Well, I can get Surf and Strength. And I do hate to do it, but... Darn it! Another seismic toss. I wonder if counter works on fixed damage moves. I mean, it is physical. Don't tell me all these are going to have Caterpies, because if they all have Caterpies with seismic toss, this actually could be a problem. going to be doing anything. Bring it on. Qua, qua, qua. Ki, ki, ki. Qua. Oh, this one has a Weedle. This one has Vine Whip. Okay. That's a lot easier to deal with. Still put it to sleep. Still use Psybeam. Ooh, I could use a Psychic Pokemon. That would be nice. Six I've got. Ground. Poison. Flying. Electric. Fire. Water. Ice. I'm trying to beat up a poor little kid. Well, not poor. My character's a kid, but I'm not a kid. Be cursed with me! Wah! Developer has a much champ! Oh my goodness. Um. 
Anger has Peck, so we're gonna switch to you. Oh, and he used Fire Blast. Which did nothing. You know what? I ain't chancing this. You're going to sleep. By the way, to date, if I'm not mistaken, Spore is the best sleeping move out there. It doesn't miss unless you get accuracy lowering, or however you word that. Like it, if you don't get your accuracy lowered, it will hit, basically. Alright, let's see what Rod has again. I don't. Oh, and it's got Ice Beam! That's not good. Okay, it didn't do very much. Let's go for a fly. Not super effective, but I got stabbed. Don't dare poison me. Stab with it. Am I at the point where I can get full heals yet? Hey, Melvin goes 20. A little bit better. Do I have full heals? I feel like I have to have some at least by finding them. I have one. A great ball. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Ah, here's my encounter. It is. <gasps> it's Kabatox. Oh no, you've got Earthquake. And absorb. And Ember. Sorry, but I'm going for points on you, buddy. Well, I would love to add you to the team. I've got a pretty powerful water type. And that four times weakness to grass is just terrifying. And I already had one of you, and you died, so... I, I don't want to go through that trauma again. Oh, jeez, this episode's flying by. Ooh, a golem! What does King have? Didn't I teach him a really powerful move? Earthquake! That's right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to King. I don't trust anything else against this thing. Double Slap's actually not a bad move for a Golem. They got pretty high attack. The reason it's not doing so much, obviously, is because my uh, Idol King has pretty good defense, naturally. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, 31. <coughs> So many of these only have one Pokemon. Ah, no more room for items. Come on now. Need to get some status effects so I can start using these up. Was gonna say that I need uh Max Revive. Come on now. Ghost no! Wow! I don't understand what the claw is for. Okay, so I know he has a fire blast. I need to get you to 29. But I don't know how much damage that well. The champ's got pretty low special, so the Fire Blast shouldn't do much. Side Beam shouldn't do much either, but it can confuse. You've also got Soft Boiled. Okay, Comet Punch actually could be a problem. Because the champ has pretty high attack. Uh, yes. Another Super Fang. Another Side Beam. Let's go for a Mega Punch! Ah, I missed. Yeah, I'll probably end up replacing that with strength. Ooh, Melvin 22 or 21. 
Yes, 29. There is no ghost, you crazy, crazy person. This should be the room with the healing zone, I think it is. Ooh, a Flareon! Okay, I'll take that as an encounter. Sleep. Haze. I don't remember what I named my Flareon before. Although, I don't think I had one in my red run. But I know I had one in a playthrough that I did on my own. I actually took it to the Elite Four. Go Pokeball! No! Ooh, Constrict. That is not great. Kinesis. Also not great. It's not looking like a very good moveset. Oh yeah, and Haze. Wow, this is a terrible moveset so far. Okay, stop that. Go to sleep. Stay asleep. And stay in the ball. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for a great ball. No, I have one because I found one. Darn it. Stay in the ball. Upbeat. Ah, it works. I know it doesn't sound like a very original nickname, but it makes me think of a TV show called Impractical Jokers. And Joe would be running around going, Larry! So now I have Flurry! Which makes me smile. A Seedra, huh? I have no idea what you got. Like, move wise. Bone Club! Okay, yeah, that would have hurt a lot. Oh, it's got Waterfall! That would be nice. So it can also defend itself against electric Pokemon. That's actually a really nice combo of moves. This is probably spray down a repel so I can get through here in this episode. No, no, I don't think I will join you. I don't think that outfit would look good on me. It's a jinx! She has a lemon. I don't remember what it has, or I would go ahead and just attack. Well, if, or I might not attack if I did remember what it had. Uh, let's see. Get sleep. Never a bad strategy to put him to sleep. Never, ever, ever a bad strategy. Especially when you have a move as accurate as Spore. Stuff like Sing, Lovely Kiss, even Sleep Powder is not as good. Ooh, got Anger to 30. I was kinda hoping to get... Melvin to 22, because I'm pretty sure that's when it evolves into Arbok. Well, when it would normally evolve into Arbok. It, there's not a great chance that it will this time. Uh, I 
we'll go to Nessie. I believe ice is super effective against ground. We're gonna find out here. Not very effective. Huh. How about that? Boy, this stuff is really gonna mess with my head when I move on to uh, Gen 2 games. Get kinda used to all the glitches and the odd stuff. Like the type advantages and the critical hit thing and the one hit KO stuff. And then all of that changes in Gen 2. <clears throat> and from there on out, obviously. Zombies! Where? Oh, goodness. That's Gyarados. That is a Gyarados. Do you have any electric moves? Please tell me you do. No, but he does have Psychic. Okay. Alright, Clyde. Gyarados with growth. Growth, not gross. You! Really? I don't know if that works out in my advantage or my disadvantage, but... You know, growth on a Gyarados would actually be really scary if it was on my team. Because I've been watching some runs from a fellow YouTuber uh, called J Rose. Shout out to J Rose. If you haven't seen his stuff, he does really good, really interesting runs. A lot of them are solo runs. And he goes through the whole thing in pretty much an episode, but like a condensed version. Uh, but. He talks a lot about something called... Oh, Melvin's evolving! Not looking, not looking. I'll finish what I'm saying in a minute. <coughs> that sounds like a good one. Ah, oh, it's a bin on that. Now I gotta wait till it gets to level 31 to evolve again. Do I have anything I don't need? I mean, I hate to toss that. What is this again? Water gun. Clyde can learn it? Ooh, King can learn it? Wait, I thought I deposited that. I guess I'll toss that. I mean, it is worth a good chunk of money, but... Definitely... Oh, it's for a dire hit? Come on. Oh, that stinks. <coughs> Looks like I might not even make it through Pokemon Tower in this episode. Jeez. I've got to get rid of that explosion. I do not like that move at all. Headbutt. Wait a minute, doesn't Duck Trio have a one-hit KO move? Okay, it doesn't matter. Because we win. Okay, I don't know that I want to get Venonat all the way to evolution. So I may just go ahead... Oh, hey, no, you calm down, lady. No blood for you. You are not a vampire. Oh, she got a pincer. Try one move. Okay, it worked. I it would be okay if Venonat had a lot of health, but it doesn't. It does not at all. It's level 22 and it has 63 health. By comparison, 
Lapras is only seven levels higher and has like twice the amount of health. Ooh, Alakazam. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be raising Melvin up. I'm probably going to go ahead and switch to Muck or Gas. After I... Oh, jeez. After I get out of here. Come on, Ice Punch, come through. It should be an easy take out. Here's a knockout. Yes! Darn it. So this has been the opposite of the last episode. Yeah, the last episode was get stuff done. Yeah, I don't want that. That does mean no good. Ooh, a max ether. That I will take. Darn it, I should have switched Venonat. Ah, crud. I'm over 40 minutes. Okay, well this will be the last battle. Oh, and they got a Venusaur! Um, try one. Oh gosh. Venonat might die. Nope, okay. Oh, <gasps> he's to sleep. Nope, it woke up. Yep, switching. Getting out of there. Uh, let's see. Clyde has Psychic. And Rock Throw shouldn't do too much. Venusaur with Rock Throw, come on. It gives it the advantage against the Rock types and the Flying types that are super effective against it, so that's definitely an interesting move for it. Go down! Ah, oh, Melvin got to 23. I guess I'll keep raising it while I'm in here, at least. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, this has been episode 13 of the Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke Pokemon Blue version. Hope you all have enjoyed it. I did not get as much done as I wanted to, but there was a lot of exciting evolutions in this one, so I hope that counts for something. Next episode, the plan is to finish the Pokemon Tower and make my way towards Fuchsia City so that I can get Surf and Strength and possibly go after Koga or the Fighting Dojo. We'll see how the team's looking at that point. And that's going to be it for me. I will see... Oh, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, of course. And follow me on Twitter at MrHoundDoom1. I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks all.